Hi everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial. So I've made several other videos on my channel. You can check that out. Some different uh, tutorial videos on uh, how to use Lightroom, uh, how you can actually change the sky, replace the sky and make it very dramatic. So all sort of uh, tutorial videos are available on my channel and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. So here we have uh, this image that I converted. So if you will look at the original image, I think it will be blown away <laughs> on how I changed completely the mood and feel of the original image. So this uh, is the original image. Boom. This is the original image and uh, this image I blended another layer to create this image. So this is completely change of time from a dawn period from sunrise time to totally golden hour sunset time. So how I did was that. Uh, that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Stay tuned and stay subscribed. And if you like this uh, video, please don't forget to like and share with your friends as well. So let's start with the video. We have this original image here. I have said that several times. This is the original image. Now what I'm going to do is to get another image of a sunset, which we have it here. This is the sunset image that we are going to overlap on the original image. So now I'll uh, use the move tool which is uh, located here. This is the move tool and you have the layers section over here. Always remember that whatever tools and uh, bars that are available here, you can always find that under the window section here. So if you go to window, you have the layers, uh, history and everything will be over here. So what we will do is to move this uh, image onto this image. Now we have uh, an image over image. How you know that there are two images here? In the layers you can see that there is the background image and just now added image which is layer 1. You can always double click here and write uh, uh, give some naming to the layer so that you will remember it properly. It all depends on your personal preference. So why sunrise? Okay let's name it sunset. So this is the image that I drag and dropped on the original image. Now uh, use the control T on your uh, keyboard. If you do that, you will get the transform tool. You can move it uh, to wherever you want. I'm, uh, I want the sunset to be happening over uh, this part of the mountain. So what I'm going to do is to move a uh, sort of image and move that to here. Use this uh, small little, uh, as you can see, this uh, mark, uh, what you call the constraint magnification tool is what I call. So what you can do is you basically move and keep it over sunset so that it will be locked there and use the alt shift on your keyboard and just you transform it so if you resize constantly as you can see where I placed this mark only from there the image will be resized so if I just move it over here if I start to resize see how the image is moving towards that side so that's the use of uh, moving this mark so if I place it over here, so it will be locked there and the image will resize from this position. So what we will do is to uh, increase the size of the image and maybe keep it uh, up till here. Now we have a layer in the background and a layer on the foreground. What we need to do is to click on this layer and drag and drop on this uh, sort of new page looking icon. Click on uh, there, drag and drop there. So it will uh, give you a duplicate layer. It will create duplicate layer so that you will always work with the duplicate and not mess with original layer. So original layer is locked. Whenever you need that, you can always retrieve original file from here. Now we have the background copy and sunset here. So click on the sunset layer, right click the move tool to get some layers or you can always uh, click directly over here. Now we have the sunset layer clicked. What we will do is to change the blending mode. Here's where everything gets interesting. Look at this. There is a normal and there are plenty of other uh, blending modes available to work upon. It all depends on different images that you are working with. Uh, for this image, I'm going to select multiply. Boom. There you see the sunset happening already. So we need to tweak this image, right? Because there's a lot of uh, messing things going on. Why I chose the multiplier, particularly blending mode is, I uh, think that there is a lot of uh, plain area, plain background, uh, just like how it was here, a little bit of uh, blue sky and light white clouds. So uh, what this multiply is, does is it basically merges with uh, the background layer and fills up that empty space. You can uh, also use the clouds uh, to replace uh, sky 
say that you don't have uh, any uh, sky or clouds in the picture you took and you want to bring that you can always do this and use the multiply blend mode and it will basically blend i also made a tutorial that you can also check that on my channel but we are not here for that so let's uh, place the sunset over here i want here and what i'll do is to again make a duplicate layer just drag and drop here it will create another duplicate layer but before that when i clicked on this sunset i think there is a lot of uh, too much reflection over here what you can do is you can create a mask or maybe i'll do that later for now i'll take this uh, newly created layer sunset copy because we need this uh, sun's reflection here i'll do that use the control t right click flip vertical and you have the flipped image of a sunset no problem if it is not looking proper at so I'll place it over here as you can see there is light sun over here just double click on it now you can see the reflected part will also bring you this one we don't want that what I'll do is click on this mask a quick mask button so it will create a masking layer so that the original image uh, is always retrieved whenever necessary now uh, there is this white foreground layer uh, color we want to change that to black and use the brush tool it is located here or you can always press uh, B on your keyboard to bring the brush tool and I'll increase the size you can also do that by right clicking or use the uh, square brackets on your keyboard to increase or decrease the size and uh, make sure hardness is zero uh, percent and uh, here you have the opacity I'll uh, maximize the opacity and flow because I need to completely remove this upper part so we'll just do that and uh, when you're happy with uh, how the image is looking and we just uh, sort of erased the unwanted part here now uh, we have the reflection part we have the original sunset so what we want to do is uh, to bring this reflection properly because this is already overlapped over this original sunset image that is why we are not uh, getting true uh, of this uh, sunset copy reflection here so to bring that uh, properly you have to go to the original sunset layer and again create a mask here Again, use the brush tool and uh, I want to use the black because I want to remove this uh, sunset and bring the background layer. Now, if I just keep on painting like this, because we have set opacity to 100%, I think it will look too dark. Let's uh, reduce the opacity as well as flow, increase the brush size. So wherever uh, you feel uh, proper, you can just paint it upon like this to get that originality in the image on the warmer side so image adjustment and curves or you can also change the color balance and remove the blueness from it midtones we have the blue okay let's remove that let's make it a little bit magenta and a little bit of red okay not so blue again we are trying to remove the blue and bring some golden R there so once you do that again we will go to image adjustment and take the curves and uh, let's make it a bit dark hmm. now after you have done this we can always take that use the brush tool and uh, make sure you have this black here we can always paint it like this and now I'll take the background copy again uh, change the curves make it a bit dark just like this only a little portion of the mountain is uh, lit just like this and if you want to remove the too much saturation you can always go to this first we need to select the layer and uh, you can always go to image adjustment uh, either you can go to color balance or you can go to hue and saturation you can make it light or dark or uh, just slightly remove the saturation so that we have this image use the brush tool again increase the size and I'll just take the black and paint it upon so that the reflection is not too much hmm so this is where we arrived this is the original this is how i actually made you can play around with and uh, make the image to your liking i think this is really cool image as well as you can see there's a lot of golden or too much golden or going on and you have the reflection a little bit on the uh, bottom side on the lake side of the mountain as well and as this as well as the sunset you can always tweak uh, again with these layers and make uh, 
however you want so where's the original image let's get uh, the original image back so this is the original image that we took and we completely changed this original image into this image as you can see how dramatically different uh, uh, there is in the timing so this is a sunrise time and we have the sunset time so there is completely change and it all depends on your creativity and work and how you want to do that i basically wanted to show you how you can actually use this blending mode multiply blending mode and you can blend the sunset or clouds behind the mountains or the cityscape or whatever the image is so you can create something really cool image just like this so I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If yes, please like the video, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, see you all in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.